Hello and welcome back to the channel, brothers. It's BakuBrad96 here, throwing the bread with some legacy Bakugan. Oh yeah, that's right. For those of you who don't know and for those of you who do not follow me on social media, I recently managed to find a legacy bundle with a ton of awesome Bakugan included, all of which I want to review, but I'm not going to review them all in one video. No, brothers, I am going to be switching things up, so I am... Excited to announce a new segment for the channel. The name is not solidified yet, but I think I'm going to go with like Baku Loaf or Baku Loaf something, but something that ties in with the, you know, the whole Baku bread gimmick. Uh, but yeah, basically what I'm going to do is review all of the legacy Bakugan that are new, but I'm going to be putting them in shorts. So that's really quick, you know, one minute reviews on the little, my little pedestal display 360 rotating thing um, a little music maybe a little voiceover I don't really know yet but the idea is really just to get a uh, more broad reach right with the channel to get more views more people seeing me maybe have more people tune in um, you know it's all boils down to growth and what I think might actually be seen a little more um, because for those of you who don't know Bakugan is kind of taking a nosedive into oblivion um, I am going to be remaining positive and very hopeful for the franchise, but a lot of people are falling off and Bakugan content just is not as watched as it was. Um, in the peak, uh, the peak of G2, I guess you could say, would be a good uh, way of describing that, but either way, I'm here to stay. I'm going to be going full force into Bakugan no matter what happens. Um, obviously, there's still plenty of Bakugan from my childhood, right? Like, these are old Bakugan. Um, not even any G2 in here, so really nice. Um, I do want to point out that not all of these were new ones that I got. A lot of these, you can all tell, that I have reviewed before. Um, I just wanted to, like, put something on camera so it wasn't just me talking and then you're looking at, like, a piece of wood or my desk. Uh, because that that's not fun at all. So at least this way, you get a little Bakugan aesthetic, but... The main part of this video, right, what I really want to show off is a Bakugan that I got a while ago. Um, I did order it off of eBay, uh, but, you know, I've been waiting around. I had a few Discord members want to, uh, well, one Discord member wanted me to hold off and uh, wait till he got his. Um, just in case, you know, a lot of people want to go out and get one. But, you know, it's all good. I think it's time. He did get his and... Uh, yeah, I'm ready to show it off and make a video. And this is a good way to uh, start off the new series. At least that's what I feel like, you know, the new Baku Loaf segment. So, uh, yeah, going to go ahead and get right into it. And this is it right here. My pride and joy. One of my favorite Bakugan when I was a kid, actually. Surprisingly enough, um, I found it. It was a good deal. Um, I did swipe it online, you know. Shame I don't, he didn't sell any more. I would have post the leak down below but uh yeah this was the only one i grabbed it and yeah it is a pearl b2 bakugan so kind of a special attack gimmick um pearl bakugan were really nice because they could either use their their main attribute in this case aquas or they could use the highlighted attribute bonus on the gate cards which i'll get into that uh in a little bit but for now see if i can't like make a little makeshift roll out of the uh of the Bakugan. One, two, three, brawl! And there it is. Get ready for the festivities. It's December, and this is the Christmas worm! You know, this is where I would input Fonghorn, you know. Dun, 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 dun. But anyway, yeah, so this is Aquas Wormquake. Um, probably one of the more hilarious colored Bakugan from G2. Um, given that, you know, red, green over the white, definitely very holiday, festive, Christmas-like, which is why I do call it the uh, Christmas Worm. Uh, very funny, you know, just a cute little gimmick, so definitely might uh, consider finding one if you can. Wormquake just happens to be a favorite of mine. A lot of detail for such a simple design, quite honestly, even with all of the teeth right there at the head. And then the little feet, bipedal, spiky things going down the entire body um as far as that though it's a really basic bakugan right you got rattlenoid serpenoid centipo uh, centipod or is it centipoid for the legacy series either way one of those and then worm quake so really simple you know it's not as intricate as some of the legacy designs can be 
but it is still one of my favorites. And uh, not a bad B power either. I think it's at 510. Yeah, 510 Gs, which the original fa faction or the original attribute was what was it? Subterra. So to have the Aquas be that strong is really surprising to me. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and start off with Wormquake. Really cool Legacy Bakugan. Really neat gimmick. Uh, I think I only have like two Pearl Bakugan, this Wormquake, and then uh, my Tiguera. But yeah, really awesome. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, what do you all think about this new project of mine? The new, uh, uh, I guess, segment? Yeah, would be the best way to say. You know, the whole Baku Loaf short reels. You know, just reviewing Legacy Bakugan one minute at a time. Everything new. Um, this might incorporate into Generation 2 Bakugan and Generation 3 Bakugan. At the end of the day, it all falls in like how the views go and how that works out with like the content. Like how the content does is what really decides it, um, at least in my opinion or how I look at it. So yeah, I'm really interested to see how this all turns out. Um, nothing much else. Pretty really basic video. Um, I didn't really have a whole lot to say, not a whole lot to unpack. Just kind of wanted to give everyone the uh, up and up on what I will be doing this week. I'm still trying to get live streams set up. Um, I think I will be doing my first live stream Saturday night sometime. Uh, probably for an hour or two. Um, definitely going to have some details later on in the week for those of you who want to join me for that. But to wrap up this video, I will go ahead and show off some of the older Bakugan cards uh, that came with my most recent bundle. Uh, because obviously when you're doing shorts, you don't really have enough time to go over a full card. So yeah, I won't go into the effects too much because I don't think they'll really matter, um, especially since this is such an older game, but the bundle included a copy of Water Snap, which is really nice. It's got Elfin on there. I guess I could make it readable for those of you who want to read the card. You know, pause the video and read it if you want to. There we go. Really cool uh, artwork of Elfin, though. Siege Switch. This is a uh, an ability that was actually used in the show. Um, I think it was those Rockstar girls when they fought against Dan or Marucho, but they actually did change um, Siege's attribute with an ability called um, like this. It was similar. I don't think it was actually Siege Switch, but it was similar. So really cool to uh, see that represented on an actual in-game card. After that, we have some uh, new Vestroya cards. So obviously Pyrus Vexos there with Alpha Hydronoid locked away. Man. Brings back the memories, good old Alpha Hydronoid. Then we have a Landmine Pyro. Pretty neat card. It gives some, like, really mean bonuses there. 150, 100, and 130. That's pretty insane. Uh, followed by a copy of Peak. Which, uh, be peeking at all these Legacy Bakugan, right? Am I right? And then a copy of Windmills. One of the uh, obscure Legacy Bakugan to never actually be made. That is one of Naga's Warriors, if, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And then Golden Boost, because why not? Everyone needs a boost, especially on Mondays. And I do believe that this is a Gundalian Invader style card. So this is when the... Um, when the artwork and the printing style of the cards changed a little bit and kind of revamped. A little harder to notice too, but and another reason why I didn't really want to put these cards in the shorts, um, the conditions, right? Like these are beat all to heck for the most part. Chaos 2. So yeah, I also didn't want that to take away from the aesthetic of the Legacy Bakugan in the actual shorts. And here is Recharge, which is pretty cool. It has Volt and Brontes. For those of you who don't know, Brontes is like Gotta be my favorite Legacy Bakugan. Uh, definitely not a bad gate card for him. Though it is yellow, and you're going to want to use his character gate, so you wouldn't even use this. But get into that again, another video. Building Blocks, which is a nice gate card for the 7-in-1 Bakugan. Pretty interesting, but it actually gives the Bakugan an extra bonus from the card. So if you have a Darkest Helios or so, you know, you get 400. I guess it would count Cyborg Helios as one of the 7 and 1, right? Like, even if you have a regular one? Interesting. That's a 400 plus boost if it did. Because, yeah, I have Darkest Cyborg Helios. But, yeah, insane combo just right there off the top of my head. 
not even really thinking about it. I uh, still got some more gate cards though. We got clean woods. I didn't know there were such a thing as dirty woods. I mean, I guess woods are dirty in general, but but there's some clean woods. We have VR Arena number one. I don't know. I mean, a, a lot of people like the whole Mectanium Gundalian Invader artwork, but I liked uh, the first, you know, Battle Brawlers through New Vistroya. I like their designs of the cards a little bit better. Um, I do see what they were trying to go with, you know, Spin Master trying to make a more metallic, hip, and cool. I just don't think it worked out. Um, that personal opinion, though, just personal opinion. Followed by Whirlpool, another eat up jaint card. Whew, these things are old, though. It's a wonder that they're still around. Oh, warming trends. What other trends are there? I guess there's cooling trends, right? Who, who knows? And follow that by Tricolor Boot. Because it's boots. And I do believe that is a Thunder Wield on there, so that's pretty interesting. And then the last three, because this video is getting a little longer than I wanted it to. We have Hydro Power, Hawk Tours Turf, and then a Tuscore Character Gate card. So really interesting. I gotta get one of those too. But anyway, that does it for all of the cards that came with my latest bundle. And honestly, that does it for the video in general. Um, how about one more rollout with Wormquake? Just this weird random corner on a box. Yeah, I can't believe I actually landed the first one, but one, two, three, brawl. I, I said something, right? And there it went. I said something, and there it goes. But thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you're all excited for what's to come on the channel, because I know I am. Until next time, stay safe, drum up, throw the bread, and Bakugan Brawl.